Welcome to today's video. Our lesson objective is to learn what the words fiction and nonfiction mean, as well as to identify fiction and nonfiction texts. In order to have this discussion, you really have to understand what a genre is. And genre is a French word that means type. And there are many different book genres. There are mystery books, there are children's books, there are chapter books, there are fairy tales, there's many, many more. But fiction and nonfiction are two genres. They're two types of books. A fiction book is a made up story. It is a pretend story. It is often a fantasy story. It often includes things that could not happen in real life or animals that do not exist in real life. You can often tell a fiction story just by looking at the cover. For example, this book is called Elves and Fairies. And as much as I wish that elves and fairies were real, I know that they exist only in my imagination. And so a book called Elves and Fairies is a fiction book. Another book that we can tell just by looking at the cover that it is a fiction story is Thelma the Unicorn. Again, we have an animal that I would love it if unicorns existed in real life, but they don't. They exist in my imagination. They're a fantasy animal. And so a book about a unicorn is going to be a fiction book because I know that a unicorn could not exist in real life. A third example of a fiction book we can tell just by looking at the cover is Angelina's Baby Sister. And here we have a family of mice and the mice are behaving the way that people do. They are wearing clothing like people do. The mother is laying down in a bed like people do. They have people furniture. And that's not the way that mice really behave. Mice can have families and mice can have babies, but they live in holes or burrows and they sleep curled up, not in a bed under a blanket. And so that helps me to understand that Angelina's baby sister must be a fiction story because what I'm seeing on the cover is something that could not happen in real life. It would only happen in my imagination. On the other hand, we have a separate genre called nonfiction. And N-O-N, -N, non, is a prefix that means not. And so nonfiction is literally not fiction. It's not a pretend story. It's a story that is true, it's real, it tells you facts, it tells you things that really happened, it tells you things about people that really lived. And again, you can often tell just by looking at the cover of a book whether a book is going to be fiction or nonfiction. One example is this book called Fish. Fish are real animals. And so by looking at the photograph on the cover, I can get a sense that this is going to be a book that's going to tell me facts about fish. It's going to tell me things that are true about a real animal. Another book I can tell just by looking at the cover is this biography of Tommy DePaola. Tommy DePaola is a real person. He really lived. He did pass away this year, but before he passed away, he wrote and illustrated over a hundred books for children. And so by looking at the cover, I can tell this book is going to tell me facts about Tommy DePala. It's going to tell me about his life. And that is a real person. So it's a non-fiction book. One last example of a non-fiction book is this book. It's called Animal Hospital. And when I look at the animal on the cover of this book, it's behaving the way that a real animal would. It's not wearing human clothes. And I can guess that the person giving the animal medicine is probably a veterinarian because the title of the book is Animal Hospital. And I know that veterinarians are real. I know that animal hospitals are real. 
And so that gives me a sense that this is going to be telling me about a real place and things that real people, veterinarians, do to help animals. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a video and I'm going to show you the covers of different books. And I tried to choose covers where you could really just look at it and maybe read the title. And you could tell right away this is either fiction, it's a pretend story, or it's nonfiction. This is a real story that tells true things. I want you to watch the video, look at the book covers, make your guesses, and after about eight seconds, the answer will appear in the bottom left-hand corner. So you can tell if you guessed correctly or not. I hope that you have good luck guessing the correct genre for each book. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and seeing the different types of books. Those are all books that I have in our classroom and hopefully we will get to hang out in the classroom soon and you'll have an opportunity to borrow any of those books that looked interesting to you. That's all that I have for you today, but I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.